My car just got upgraded from hardware 2.5 to hardware 3 slash FSD computer kit. What was the process like? How long did it take? And what's the difference now that I see on my car between the two different versions? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Joy. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I document my Tesla Model 3 owner experience to help new and future owners learn more about this car. If you find this video helpful and informative, please consider subscribing. My car unexpectedly got retrofitted to hardware version 3 because I bought FSD upgrade back in March 2019. I thought I was going to do a quick video showing you guys the difference on screen between the old hardware 2.5 versus the new FSD hardware version 3 visualization display. But this whole process had turned into a saga. So I am going to show this video in the linear timeline and I apologize if it's segmented or it seems disjointed, but you will get the whole story at the end of this video. I did not plan this video. Originally, I wanted to do a fun voice commands that your Tesla would understand video. Unfortunately, my software update has had a lot of bugs, so it would not recognize my voice commands perfectly each and every time. A week ago, I made an appointment through my Tesla app with my service center to take my car in, taking a look at this bug. Today is my appointment day. They contacted me this morning at around eight o'clock, telling me that they're reviewing my case. And they said that this bug is actually caused by that new FSD preview software update 2019.40.5.1 or two. I'm on version that 50 now. I asked, well, I have hardware 2.5. Would upgrading to the hardware 3 or full self-driving chip help with this bug? My service engineer or advisor said that, well, it doesn't because they're seeing the same bug with hardware 3 as well, and they're investigating on this bug. And I said, well, I do have full self-driving upgrade that I purchased back in March 2019 and along with that upgrade comes with the computer upgrade, hardware upgrade. Do you know when I might get this upgrade? And moments later, they came back saying, oh, we actually put a request in for your car and your FSD chip is ready. So why don't you come in and get this retrofitted and we'll see if it helps with that voice command bug. This was a pleasant surprise because about three months ago in early October 2019, I took my car into the service center because of my charging port was having some issue. And I asked them about the FSD computer chip upgrade and they told me at the time that Tesla makes these full self-driving computer chips in batches. So engineering was sent to service center in batches and each of these FSD computer chips is assigned to a specific VIN number. So until they get notified that my chip is ready, I can't get it even if I request it. So I have been patiently waiting for Tesla to call me in and say, hey, your upgrade is ready. Come on in and let's do this. And I've been seeing this online of people saying that they are starting to get this call into their service center. But I didn't think that it would actually happen now, today. So I decided to film my drive there to the service center so you can see the screen visualization while my car is still on the 2.5 hardware. And then after I do the hardware 3 or FSD retrofit upgrade, I'm going to film that again so you guys can see any visualization difference along with this latest 2019.40.5, I think, upgrade. So let's go. 
I'm on my way to the service center, which is not very far away from me. Supposedly, with the new FSD sort of preview that Tesla has rolled out in the latest software update, if you have the hardware version 3 or FSD computer, is that it will start to recognize some stop signs and traffic lights and even cones when you drive through construction area. So right now with version 2.5 of the hardware, you don't see any of that visualizations here on display. Hopefully after I get the retrofit to the hardware 3 upgrade, I will be able to capture maybe even a stop sign like this on screen or traffic light. I don't know if I'll be able to encounter cones, but uh, we'll see. I'm home and no, I do not have my car. I left it at the service center. The tech verified the voice command bug along with the retrofit of hardware version 3 for my car. However, because the retrofit is a bigger job, I have to leave my car there for a day. It takes them about a day to do this. Today is New Year's Eve, tomorrow is New Year, and they're closed. So it means that I won't get my car back until January 2nd, 2020, Thursday. And in the meantime, what they did was they gave me $300 Uber voucher so I can get around. This service center used to provide enterprise Tesla loaner, but no longer. So yes, they've changed their loaner model to giving you Uber voucher to get around, which I don't mind so much myself because I don't have that liability of driving around a loner car, getting a potential accident and so forth. So we will see on Thursday when I get my car back, how the visualization may change if it'll start recognizing stop signs, traffic lights, and if that is going to help with the voice command bug. The text did say that it may not help, however, they do need to change some settings when they do the Hardware 3 retrofit upgrade. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to help with that bug. See you back on Thursday. Well, this Hardware 3 slash FSD retrofit project is turning out to be a saga. Why? Because today is Sunday, January 5th, 2020, and almost three o'clock in the afternoon, I still don't have my car back. I thought this was going to be done and over with on Thursday, January 2nd. However, when they were ready to install the kit to my car, they found out there was a missing hardware. So they had to order another one, which arrived Friday. And Friday, when I went over there, to get something else out of my car. My car was the second in line to get the retrofit. There was another car ahead of me. I asked my advisor how long it would take for them to do the retrofit. And they said that it takes about five hours because of the hardware installation, but they also need to install another firmware, I believe this is not the usual software updates that we get, but another hardware three firmware that goes with the kit. After that, they said that they need to spend time calibrating my car, take it out for test drive, making sure that everything is calibrated. I contacted them on Saturday and they said that now they don't expect me to have this car back until Sunday. And I told them I absolutely have to get this car back today because tomorrow, January 6th, I am driving out to Las Vegas for the Consumer Electronics Show, CES, for work. And I want to leave in the morning to avoid all the crazy traffic. So they supposedly put a big priority on my car to get everything going. Saturday came and went and they told me 
yesterday afternoon that they are going to push out the firmware to my car and if everything goes then it will be a successful installation this morning at eight o'clock when they opened by the way this particular service center does open on Sunday due to the high demands. I checked it on the Tesla official website and it does list them opening Saturdays and Sundays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And at 8 o'clock or 8.30 in the morning, they told me that the tech said that they're putting the firmware through and hopefully everything goes and they're going to do final testing. And at around 1.30, I haven't heard back from them. So I called them and they told me that the tech is doing finishing touches on it. The firmware did go through and everything looks fine. And they're gonna do one last test just to ensure everything is done properly. So it looks like I will be able to pick up my car by the end of business day, by 6 p.m. today. The, the advisor said that he's gonna be there until 6 p.m. So hopefully I will get the car back <laughs> as scheduled and nothing else is going wrong. So we'll go pick up the car. I got the car back and it would not recognize anything but cones on the road on the way home. Now I'm parked, I started checking out the menu and see if there anything was reset. And I noticed that there's this full self-driving visualization preview that was turned off. So yeah, remember you turn this on if you want to see more visualization. So I'm going to turn this on and uh, it's going to show traffic lights, stop signs, selected road markings and obstacles. And so I'm going to turn this on and I'm going to go dry some more and this time it should make a difference. Ooh, it's starting to show traffic lights up here. This is so cool. And the turning lane. This is nice. This is so cool. I have never ever been this excited about traffic lights and traffic markings on the road. This is really amazing. Traffic lights. There's a whole bunch of them coming up. Cone on the side. Wow. This is fun. There's going to be a stop sign coming up. Let's see if it's going to recognize it. Yep, stop sign right there. There it is. So this is a preview of what full self-driving mode will look like in the future on the screen and what your car is capable of recognizing. Here comes another stop sign. Right there, right there. Also the flashing traffic lights up there. and also the word stop. While I was waiting for my car to pull up at the service center, I reviewed the invoice that Tesla sent me for this work. And I found out the real reason why it took so long for them to get this kit installed on my car. It turned out that the first one that they put in did not work, it malfunctioned. So they had to remove that one, get a new one, and put it in and that's why it caused so much delay. I don't know why it happened to me but I guess it makes for a good video right you need some drama but I hope that none of this will happen to any of you when it is your turn to do the hardware 3 retrofit.
And once again, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, make comments down below, ask me questions, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed week.